Hey everybody, welcome to another YouTube Live with me, your acrylic diva. It's Wednesday at noon, so it must be YouTube Live, right? I am going to uh, show you just a quick little technique today that I think is kind of fun. It's called Doodle Portraits, and it's really kind of a takeoff on um, my, what I call lizard brain. If you have my book, you will see in one of the chapters in there, it's called Letting the Brain Play. And it's all about doodling and just letting your mind wander and stuff like that. One of the things that happens during the holidays is that we get so stressed out with family and traveling and cooking and wrapping presents. It's all a lot of fun, right? But sometimes you feel like you just want to make a little bit of art to kind of mellow out. And it can be really hard to find the time and the space to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the corner of the kitchen table, you know, because that's where you're going to be, right? <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do that on the corner of the kitchen table with a very minimal amount of stuff, okay? You don't need a lot of stuff. And if you like this approach, be sure you check out my program, The 20 Minute Artist. I will put the link down in the show notes after this one this YouTube video uploads, I'll put the link in there. And uh, if you uh, want to get a special little deal on that, send me an email that you're interested in registering for the 20 Minute Artist and I'll send you something special, okay? But back to the program here, let's get right to it. I want to show you this little technique that I like. So let's go right to the overhead camera. Okay, so here's my fancy piece of paper. What I'm using today is just a very simple piece of watercolor paper from Strathmore. You can use any kind of paper, but you do want to use watercolor paper and heavy weight is going to be better than the lightweight because you want to be able to kind of scrub on it a little bit and stuff like that. So you want something that will really stand up to some work. So Strathmore watercolor paper cold press and I'll put links in the show notes for you so you can find this stuff. Now I have taken the big uh, sheet, the 9 by 12 sheet, I have taken that and torn it into smaller pieces. Just fold it and score it and then tear it. And that gives you a nice deckle edge. You can cut it if you want, if you want everything to look really super spiffy. But you know, I like these torn edges. So let me tear this baby. This is pretty tough paper, so just give it a little elbow grease there. Okay, so you get some nice deckle edges. Gives you a handmade look. You can also cut it. So we that's how you're going to tear it at the end, right? But that's not how you're going to start. This is how you're going to start. You're going to start with that full sheet. And I am using a uh, Pigma graphic pen. This is archival ink and I'll put that link down in the show notes for you as well. I just want to quickly grab the chat box and see if we've got any questions from anybody right now. Um, hang on one quick sec you guys while I grab the chat box. Dooby dooby doo. Okay. <laughs> you know I'm a one-man band so I'm always doing all this stuff all by myself. Okay, so I don't see any questions in the chat box just yet. All right, so we've got the Pigma graphic pen, and that is archival ink, and it's black. And it may, it's primarily waterproof, but it could bleed a little bit, which is okay, that's fine, doesn't matter. But what we're going to do is we're literally going to doodle all over this page. Now, if you look at my book, you'll see that there's a very specific way that I do this called the lizard brain and I usually look at something and I do what's called blind contour drawing. And either way works. You don't have to look at something. You can simply close your eyes and do this. So you all, I'm going to I'm going to just show you, okay? So hang on a quick sec. So I'm going to be drawing with my eyes closed. You can't see my face while I'm drawing. You can only see my hands. But this is me with my eyes closed, okay? Can you see that? Okay, good. All right. <laughs> like, 
I don't know. You know, I just want to want you to know what's happening. Okay, so I've got my eyes closed and I'm just going to put my pen down and I'm just going to doodle all over the page. Really, you know, don't look. Try really hard not to look. Did I go off the paper? Yes, I think I went off the paper. Just doodle. I'm serious, you guys. Just doodle. You're not trying to do anything. Oops, I went off the paper again. Well, that doesn't matter. So you may want to, if you're doing this on the corner of the kitchen table, you may want to put some newspaper down underneath or something so you don't inadvertently draw on your beautiful lace tablecloth, right? Like I'm drawing all over the place here. Okay. Oh, am I on the paper still? And because I have my eyes closed, I'm going to have to check and see if this is even under the camera. Okay, yeah, it is. So I'm cheating a little bit because I have to actually see if I'm on the camera or not. Okay, but this is... This is it, right? And you can do this as big or as small as you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, now, now that you've got that done, you're going to take a little paint of some sort. It doesn't have to be high flow. It can be fluid acrylics. It can be watercolor. It can be anything you want. I don't care. Just a little color, one or two colors. doesn't matter what which colors you use. And I'm going to throw out a little bit of Quin Magenta because you know I can't live without that. A little Quin Magenta. I've got a little Indian Yellow here. That's a pretty color. And maybe a little Thalo Blue for good measure. Be careful with that Thalo Blue, you all, because it's like kryptonite. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush, which is here somewhere. Hold on my paintbrush, okay, with water and I'm gonna float some water out here first. Now some of that Pigma Micron pin might bleed out but it doesn't bother me, I don't care. Um, that's fine, doesn't bother me in the least. So there you go, there's a little bit of water. Alrighty. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of paint and remember these these pigments are super powerful so you don't need much. You really don't need a whole lot. Let me get that over there so you can see it. There. Okay, so I'm just going to do this kind of business. If you were with me last week I did a pouring demo with water and this is kind of like that in a way. You could pour these down if you wanted to, but we're going to go for something a little bit more specific, not much more specific, because the whole idea of this is that you are not trying to control stuff because you've got, everything's going to be really busy and hectic during the holidays, and the last thing you need is some painting technique that requires a bunch of fussy control, um, you know, anything like that. That's just going to make you nuts, right? So don't do that to yourself. Give yourself just a bunch of play because you need it, right? Just make some nice mixtures here. Sneak up on that phthalo blue because the phthalo blue is just crazy strong. Crazy, crazy strong. Sneak up on it a little bit. Anybody have questions? I'm just going to grab the chat room, the chat box real quick here. And let me, um, let me make sure you, I can see you all if you have any questions. I'm just going to throw hello right there in the chat box just to make sure I can see it because it's way over in the corner. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm just having a really hard time seeing this chat box. My um, screen is enormous, so hold on. Give me one quick second. There you are. I finally found the chat box. Yippee. Okay. Cool. That It makes a whole lot of difference when I can see what I'm doing, right? That uh, kind of helps. It kind of helps. All right. Oh, hey, Lisa. How you doing? So, all right. I'm just grabbing a little bit of these colors, you know, now all of the the colors that I'm using are modern pigments and they stain. 
So they're going to stain the paper. So if you don't want phthalo blue there, don't put it there because you can't get it out. You know what I mean? It's it's going to be there. You're you're stuck with it. So just uh, just play in with these colors. All right, that's all. Now I don't want to make it too soupy because we don't have a whole lot of time today. So I'm trying to kind of rush a little bit. I'm gonna flip that around. You will notice that I'm putting the phthalo blue down here and I am not getting my Hansa, I mean my uh, Indian yellow close to it because I don't want to make mud. I want to keep my colors light so I'm trying to not make mud. Alright so just keep playing with that like so. Okay. Now that's a little bit too pink and blue for me. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that Indian yellow and just push it down here. You want to watch when it gets into the um, phthalo because it'll go green and then if you've got too much uh, coin magenta it'll go brown. So you know play it on the on the uh, cautious side. Just a little bit more of that Indian yellow down here. Oops! See I went a little heavy right there so I'm just going to grab that there. I just don't want it super heavy there. And I also want it to dry. I'm going to grab a little of the Quin Magenta up here. Okay, pretty fancy, right? Just going to mop up a little bit of the really wet stuff. Okay, now what you would do is you would tear yours into these lovely pieces here like this. I can't do that because this is wet and if I fold it I'll make a big mess. So I'm just going to cut mine real quick. And you may be wondering, well, why didn't you just cut them to begin with? Because if you cut them to start with, you're going to kind of um, you're going to you're going to circumscribe the kind of drawing that you do. You're going to be trying to draw inside a tiny uh, space. This way you've got a little bit more room to draw in and your drawing is a little bit more spontaneous, a little more wide open, that kind of thing. Okay, now this this one here, I'm just going to fold it a little bit so it'll stay flat so I can work on it. And I've got these others over here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to either take a paintbrush or uh, colored pencils, you can use the Pigma, Micron, whatever you like, and you're going to create doodle portraits. So basically you're going to be turning these into some sort of face, right? It's definitely not going to be your your typical portrait. But what you want to kind of do is look for something like I'm looking at this right here and I'm going this would be kind of cool right here as a dog portrait. You know me and dogs, right? So I'm and here's here's the tongue. I just did that. And um, maybe maybe a really tall funny ear. So you all know that it's probably going to be Daisy May that I'm drawing here. Here's a neck over here. Now the portrait doesn't, obviously the portrait doesn't have to be a human. It can be a dog or it could be a flower. It could be anything you want. But I'm just saying portraits because that's easiest. Now I'm going to go back to my paint that I had and I'm just going to give it, oops, this paintbrush isn't my friend. Um, I'm just going to give it a little help there in terms of you know, give it a little bit of this paintbrush. is really tiny. Let me get a good one. There we go. That's better. Give it a little help in terms of, you know, filling it in. Now, you may think, you know, that's kind of silly. Hi, Gail. How are you? 
Happy holidays to you, Golden Girl. <laughs> I just happened to see you there in the chat box. Um, you may think, well, you know, Tisa is just being super silly. Yes, I am. That's my job, people. But the other thing I'm doing is, you know, this is just relaxing. I am not here trying to make some giant masterpiece. I'm not trying to, you know, work on a commission for a client. I'm literally doing this kind of stuff just to, just to, you know, chill out. Okay. So I want you to really feel like this is the kind of thing you can do just to chill out during the holidays. I'm going to put a little titanium white out here because it's important that you don't, you know, make yourself crazy during the holidays. We've all got so much to do. Just make it a little mixture with a little titanium white and that will help things sit on top of the background. It'll be a little bit more opaque. Let's grab a little more titanium white. That kind of thing. Okay, so maybe it's a reindeer. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but do you get me? Do you get the gist of what I'm doing here? I hope it makes sense. You know, it's a pink reindeer. Okay. <laughs> so that's just a little um, way, just a real quick little way you could make some fun stuff on the corner of your kitchen table while the cookies are baking. And look, you've got four of these that you can do. And you know, they might make great little gift cards too for the holidays. So let's do another one real quick. I'm going to grab a little titanium white. That'll help things sit up on top of the background because that background has a lot of water in it. And so this is going to be, um, let's see. Okay, so I see a big hat right here. Here's a big hat. And um, I'm going to put, I'm just going to add a face to it right there. And let's see, let's have a really fun scarf or something right there. Okay, so the big hat is going to be kind of green. We'll just kind of give that some definition there. You see where I'm going with this? It's pretty simple stuff, you guys. Pretty simple stuff. Don't make it hard. Don't make it fussy. You know, just have fun with it. We need a crown on the hat. Let's put that in. And then, you know, for the face, let's just give her some big juicy lips and some big eyes. You know, we need some big eyes, right? Nobody has big eyes anymore. So let's have some big eyes in there. Have big eyes gone out of fashion? I, I don't know. All right. Linda says this will be fun to do with my granddaughters. You bet. This is, boy, if you get some kids doing this, it's awesome fun. It's super fun. Kids love to do this kind of stuff. And it's super simple. And the nice thing about it is there's no particular right or wrong. Okay? You can make um, animals. You can make people. You know, it doesn't really matter as long as you're having a good time. And it's also a great way to introduce children into art making that maybe, you know, they have automatically they try it. And this is a really cool way to spend time with them to do that. Okay. So, so have fun with that. All right. There's my, I think she needs, um, I think she needs pink hair. Don't you? Pink hair would be good. I used to have pink hair. Pink hair would be excellent. Let's give her some pink hair. A couple of bangs there. Pink hair. You can never go wrong with pink hair. Okay. 
All right, so you get the idea, right? Super simple, super fun. My pink reindeer dog, my crazy pink haired lady. You can even do some uh, wonderful abstracts with just the shapes themselves, okay? So have fun with that, all right? So how is everybody doing out there? I'm going to put some links in the show notes for you about stuff that I'm using. But I did want to just let everyone know that the uh, 20 Minute Artist Program is still open for registration. And if you're interested in that, just send me a little email and I'll send you a special coupon for half off. That's a pretty good deal, right? What, what, could, what could be wrong with that? Um, okay, so let me answer some questions from you all. Uh, any kind of acrylic painting questions you might have? Now, Gail, I know you probably don't have any acrylic painting questions. You could answer them, right? So if I forget something, you answer for me, okay? <laughs> if I'm in Pismo, I will stop by the studio. You bet I will because I love Pismo Beach. It's so pretty down there. And um, I know you guys have some wonderful weather. So... Yeah, I get down there once in a while. So next time I'm in your neighborhood, I'll stop by. Questions, anybody? Um, anything you need to know about acrylic painting or, you know, tools, brushes, that kind of thing? The Pigma, I'm going to try and hold this up to the camera. Let me get this other window out of the way so I can see. Okay, that's the Pigma graphic pin right there. That's the one that I'm using, and it is um, waterproof, so it's pretty cool in that respect. You can draw and then paint on top of it, and it's a lot of fun. But isn't it fun just to do those little things on the corner of the kitchen table? You don't need a whole lot of stuff to do this, and kids can do it. You can do it while the cookies are baking and all that good stuff, all right? So let's see what I've got in the chat box in terms of questions. Looks like we're doing okay. Looks like we don't have any burning questions here. Not so far. Okay, so um, th like I said, this is going to be the last live hangout for 2017. And I'm going to come back in 2018 after the first of the year. Won't be right after the first of the year. I'm going to take a little break there for a while, as you can imagine, doing a weekly live broadcast. There's a lot of hullabaloo that goes with that. So I'm going to take a little break and do some other stuff. And there are some things coming up. Uh, Creative Flow, we're still doing that on Thursday nights live. So that's happening and some other cool stuff is happening. So I'm, you know, I'm a busy gal. Um, all right, it's time to give away paint. And I want you to guess a number. I have to write the number down. Okay, so let's see. Um, all right, so I want you to guess a number between 1 and 15. Put it in the chat box and I will send you paint. I'm going to be sending out several goodie bags. I usually do it about once a month. And I'm going to be sending out several goodie bags from the last few hangouts that I've done. We've got some, uh, some winners that are going out. So if you want to get yourself in there and get some paint, put uh, the number 1 between 1 and 15. Put that in the chat box and I will send you some paint. Lisa guessed number 3. All right, we need some more guesses because I know there's several people. Linda McBee, guess number seven. All right, good, good, good. Keep guessing. In the meantime, uh, make sure that you jump over to my online school at learn.acrylicdiva.com. That will be in the show notes as well. And there are some free classes over there. There's some new stuff that's going to be coming up in 2018. Some cool stuff's happening. So you can enroll in the school and get into the private Facebook group. And it doesn't cost you anything. And once you're in the private Facebook group and you're enrolled in my private school, then you will get all kinds of notifications that don't go out to the public. Okay? It's like a secret club. <laughs> it's my own secret club. All right. I'm going to just wait for a little bit and see if we have any more guesses coming in. Let me just see here. Looks like 
Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit more because um, I know the, the uh, YouTube has to kind of catch up with me. So it'll take a minute or two for YouTube to catch up with me. In the meantime, I hope you're all going to have great holiday season. Traveling, be safe out there. You know, if you're traveling, be safe and, you know, eat lots of turkey and cookies and pumpkin pie. and Oh, that's Thanksgiving. Well, it's Christmas too, so... <laughs> This time of the year, it's all about the food, baby. It's all about the food. And then in January, the fasting starts, okay? All right. Looks like we've got all of the guesses in the chat box. Any remaining guesses? Don't miss this, you guys. This last one for 2017. So I'm going to go in, go in, go on here. Any more guesses? Looks like we don't have any got a little bit of a de delay in YouTube but it shouldn't be too long let me just see okay looks like we're good Linda it looks like you're closest because the number is six Linda McBee so I want you to send me a snail mail not a snail mail excuse me I want you to send me an email to Tisa at acrylicdiva.com I'm gonna put that in here Tisa at acrylicdiva.com Send me an email over there, and in the title, I want you to put, in the subject, I want you to put, I won paint, and then put your snail mail address inside that email for me, okay? And sometime in the next few days, those goodie bags are going to go out with the paint, and you'll get some paint, like a little Christmas Prezi there, okay? All right, in the meantime, everybody... Stay tuned um, after the first of the year. We're going to have some more stuff coming up on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Be sure you're subscribed to Facebook and Instagram for sure because there's going to be some stuff happening after the first year on Instagram and, uh, and, on, and on Facebook as well. Okay? I know, I know. I've got like crazy stuff happening. When do I paint? Oy, I do paint. Actually, I'm getting ready to go to the studio here in just a minute because I'm in my home studio, my video studio here. All right, you guys, have a fabulous, fabulous day and a nice holiday season. And what do I always say? Keep painting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.